My name is Anthony Zivitz and I'm a Harley Street dentist. I am here to answer your questions regarding gums and gum health. Gum disease can be caused by a number of factors. However, poor oral hygiene is the most common cause. Poor oral hygiene, such as not brushing your teeth properly or regularly, can cause plaque to build up on your teeth. If you do not remove the plaque from your teeth by brushing them, it will build up and irritate your gums, leading to inflammation and soreness. Gum disease can also be brought on by poor diet, stress, and a weakened immune system. Well, gingivitis, which makes up about 70% of all gum disease, is not always painful, so you may even be unaware you have it. Having said that, initial symptoms that you can watch out for include red and inflamed gums, and or bleeding gums when brushing teeth. If you think you might have signs of gum disease, make sure you have a good oral care routine and speak to your dentist or hygienist for more advice. These symptoms can be easily treated by having a good oral hygiene routine, which includes brushing for two minutes twice a day, flossing, using a mouthwash, and visiting your dentist and hygienist regularly as often as they recommend. If you think that you have periodontitis, severe gum disease, you should speak to your dentist for advice. Yes, there's gingivitis, which makes up about 70% of all gum disease, and periodontitis, which accounts for the other 30%. Gingivitis is an inflammatory and sometimes infective condition of the gums. It is often caused by poor oral hygiene or smoking, but it can also be brought on by a poor diet, stress, and a weakened immune system. Long-standing gingivitis can turn into periodontal disease. Periodontitis affects the gums and bone supporting the teeth and can lead to irreversible problems such as gappy teeth, exposed roots, and a lack of chewing teeth, which can sometimes only be resolved with expensive surgery. Receding gums may be one of the first signs of gum disease. When gum recession occurs, pockets or gaps form between the teeth and gum line, making it easier for disease-causing bacteria to build up. Many people think that you need a dental checkup every six months, but how often you need to go varies from person to person. Some people may not need to go so often and others may need more frequent checks. The time between checkups can vary from three months to two years, depending on how healthy your teeth and gums are and your risk of future problems. It is best to ask your dentist when you should have your next checkup based on how good your oral health is. Thank you for all your questions today. And remember, if you do have any concerns, make sure that you speak to your dentist or your dental hygienist.